today we're we're in the 5110, and we'll be uh, I'll be walking you through the presentation system in this corner. I'll show you how to uh, put a DVD disc. This is your DVD player. Jack, press it in, close the tray, and uh, that's all you have to do in here. All your controls are located on the touch panel. I will walk you through this uh, lectern station. As you can see here, the touch panel um, layout, this is your preview window. At the top, your source selections. Currently, we're um, on the DVD Blu-ray player. This section is your controls. It's pause now. Play. Welcome to Jerry's yeah. service. Most people Stop call. Stop it. So this is your controls here. Top section. Is annotation controls. Uh, well, pause that. Annotation. Um, there is a color selection and the thickness of that color. So just for that demonstration, I'm going to pick brush thick, red, and uh, do a random annotation. The annotation is seen by every station in this courtroom and um, they can annotate back and uh, well, clear you can clear annotation redo it um, the only thing is you have to remember this annotation on button when you decide to annotate make sure that's selected uh, it will highlight green it's annotation on and go ahead and annotate. Um, to deselect, just press that button again. Of course, you have to clear it, whatever you annotate it, but right now, if you just touch the screen, uh, it will not annotate. So make sure the annotation is selected. You have the option of full screen. It will take you to the full screen of that preview window. And then go back, there's a touch to return, the little button right here. Press that, take it back to the main menu. And uh, going back to our source selections, as I was saying, we're on the Blu ray. Um, there's a document camera, which I'm going to put my cell phone as a evidence. Um, as you can see, my Phone right there. I'm going to focus. I'm going to zoom on it. The camera will auto focus. And then, since I have a lot of glare, I have an option here turn my lights off. It will fix the glare. Turn my phone. You can see some people use that as an evidence. Also, if you have a document or a photograph, as I do here, um, you can present that via document camera. I'll just uh, place it here. You have a preview window. Actually, got a small window here, but easier to see um, to this monitor. Align it. You can adjust it, and the camera will autofocus. Um, and make sure your lectern.camera is selected. Um, otherwise, it will not present. And uh, other options on the source selection is VGA and HDMI. That's for your laptop connections. And uh, just select here. Since I have nothing connecting to it, it will tell me there's no signal. Make sure you're actually sending something. Same applies to HDMI. So here's are your four sources or choices in the electric station. Okay, uh, I'd like to also mention the microphone in this lecture station. By default, it's always on. If you can see, there's uh, green lights right here. This section indicating visual indication that it's on. 
There is a press button right here. We'll momentarily uh, mute the microphone. And if I'll press it, you'll see my lights go off. So that's your visual. Otherwise, it's uh, always on. Just remember that. Okay, I would like to talk about the council tables now, which uh, we're in the uh, prosecution at the moment. Each station will have this touch panel uh, monitor. Has two options, two modes. You got preview mode, that's what you're seeing right now. We're using document camera as our source. And you have annotation mode. All you have to do is press this button, which is touch annotate. And when you do, you will have the pop-up menu at the top section right here, which gave you the same controls as the lectern thickness and color. Um, we're just going to pick green here and annotate something. Uh, maybe blue. You'll see different colors here. Red and white. So those are four basic colors. Three different thickness, thin, medium, and thick. Um, and uh, okay, let's clear that. So that's your annotation mode. Uh, if you need to present from your laptop or any other device, you have two options again: VGA, HDMI. I'm going to be using HDMI connected to my laptop. All right, here's the. I'm connected. Uh, you have to remember one thing. Just because I'm connected, that doesn't mean that I'm presenting. Uh, you have to talk to the clerk and ask him to select that option, select that source. And um, we'll do that right now. I'm connected. I asked the clerk to uh, select that source. Now you can see my laptop. Uh, I'm presenting. Well, actually, everybody will see that presentation. Um, same concept, if you need to annotate, you can do that. I'm still in annotation mode. Um, so whatever, if you need that. Um, if you don't, hit that button again, take you back to the preview mode. And um, uh, I think that's it as far as your connections here, all the console tables the same, the same functionality, same principle. We're in the witness stand. Um, the, they have the same type of monitor slash touch panel. The witness can preview or annotate. Any touch annotate. And uh, same, you, you got the same selections here, same menu. You can select the thickness or the color, and witness can annotate back, or it can annotate period. Everybody can see. Right, so, like this. Um, so that's pretty much it. And as far as the microphone, same concept. It's always on. You have to press and hold to mute that. We're here in the jury box, um, happens to be jurors 7 and 8, and uh, the jurors will share a monitor. This is just the monitor, not a touch panel, so they only can preview the content. Two jurors share the same panel or the same station. The jurors also have a microphone that will be sharing. It's located right here uh, between two jurors. During the questioning process, the microphones will be active and they can be adjusted as needed via clerk's panel. Uh, all you have to do is just ask clerk to adjust that level. Um, and during the, uh, during the trial, uh, the microphones will be muted. We also installed this monitor that uh, can be used while addressing the jurors um, for your opening 
or closing statements. So you can see what's presented at the moment. You also have an option of um, printing out a hard copy of the evidence. Um, all you have to do is ask clerk to make you a copy. And I'm just going to demonstrate annotation on this uh, photograph. I'll just put a test here. And let's say you would like to have a hard copy of that. Um, you ask clerk and uh, he'll make a copy and you will see that in a second.